everybody. I'm Bunky, and welcome to Bunky's Workshop. Um, well, you gotta say hello to Gidget. Mm -hmm. She's a sweetheart. She's our new puppy. <laughs> she's a year old now, and she's huge. But that's okay. She's a good girl. Anyway, um, as a lot of you know, I purchased this Kenmore Intuition um, several months, I believe, back in the spring it might have been. And uh, for some reason, I like the color. I just like the look of it. Um, I didn't look at the reviews or anything. The price was right. I purchased it, got it home, and been using it. And I promised I'd do a review on it after use for a while, and I totally forgot. And a person did send me a message saying, hey, are you ever going to do the review on that vacuum? And I said, hey, tomorrow I'll try to crank out one for you. So here I am after work. It is three o'clock, it is raining, it is snowing, and it's cold. But anyways, let's rock this out and I'll tell you what I found out. So, starting from the bottom, the brush roll, the brush bristles are very stiff. Now, the only problem is they're not very long, so they really don't dig into the carpet. Um, what I've kind of found is it kind of just does the surface of the carpet. It really doesn't just dig in and vibrate. And here's our other dog, <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> I should have known better, but they're sweethearts. Anyway, so the bristles are stiff. If they were longer or could be closer to the carpet, it would do a better job. Um, that's the first thing I noticed. You do have a squeegee back here, and it did okay on... Uh, hard floor, you know, the kitchen floor, you know, linoleum and whatever. Uh, it did okay. I'm not going to complain. The gate in the front has slots in it to pick up larger debris. Um, the wheels are rubber. So you have a wheel here, here, and then two in the back. And they are rubber coated. So it's not going to harm your hardwood floor or delicate floors. So that is a good thing. Okay, and it does have... Here in the front, I guess I should back this up a little. Here in the front, it does have um, LED headlights, which is nice. That's a good thing. Um, it does have swivel, so you can go around obstacles. That is nice. Um, the HEPA filtration is right here, underneath here, pull front comes off and right in here is the filter uh, let's find get it out there we go which is still pretty clean come on get come on I know it's still pretty clean you can kind of see some of the black from the uh, uh, the motor but uh, it's still very clean carbon dust is what I'm trying to say it's still clean so easy to do fits right in there I'm trying to put this in upside down I believe there we go it's hard to do like this so there it's in so talked about the power head the uh, filter. Now, for your bag, you just pull up on this, pop, and there you go. Now, there is a button right here, and when you push that, it releases the bag into the trash can, so you don't have to touch anything, which is nice. You just press the button, the dirt bag falls off, put a new one in, done. So that is very easy to load and unload your bag. No qualms with that. Inside here is another filter. As you can see, it's not bad. So these bags are not, you know, that bad. It's not allowing a lot of dirt and debris. It's filtering as it should. Okay. Let me get that back in there correctly. Just hard to see on an angle. Put the glasses on make sure I get this right 
Okay, there we go. There we go. So, and as you can probably see inside, it is very clean. So, it's not dusty or dirty, so the filtration's not that bad. So that's pretty easy. It's got a really nice, you're gonna have to move, Gidget. Go on, here. Good girl. This handle's really nice and easy to lift. It doesn't weigh that much. It does come with, um, I think this, does, didn't this come off? It does, right, okay. So your upholstery tool, standard, and you have a nice brush that goes on it for upholstery as well. That way you can agitate your curtains, your carpet, whatever you're trying to clean so the brushes are good. Then you have this like three-in-one kind of thing. I hate these. But anyways, it's your crevice tool, your dusting brush, and then on this other side, with the red you see there, I don't know what you'd use that for, but it has litter pickers on there. I have never used it. I, I don't get it, to be honest with you. I'm just not a fan of these three-in-one type things, two-in-one. Anyways, so moving along, you have your cable, your wire here with the automatic release, which is easy. Um, here's something, uh, let me tell you about these wires. So when you're winding up your wire on here, your cable, whatever you want to call it, let me back up just a little. Crisscross it. So you come down crisscross and just keep crisscrossing like this okay let me get this wound up and I'll give you my reasoning for it I never used to do this I always just wind it up regularly and go on about my business but if you know Hoover on Hoover Lux restorations and so forth said oh if you do like a figure eight and wind it up you never have a um, a cord that's going to be all tied up in knots and it worked so uh, I'm giving that information to you so all you do is unhook this throw it on the floor and it's done the cord is quality it's nice and long no big deal I want to plug it in so I can show you with a demo on the back it does have a place to put your tools that you have them on board. So, let me undo this. It's very tight. And I'll move you up here. So back here, right here, is a button you can press and it will release the wand. You can put all your tools here so that you can get un under things, above things, around things, or whatever. That's easy to use connects right back in. Now like some of your shark items and so forth, shark vacuums, you, you do have a lift away button right here. Press and now you're like a canister, okay? You can do your steps, you can put it in a car, do whatever you want. You can release the handle, okay? You've got a really nice handle. You can, let's see, how do I do this? Here we go. I was trying to remember how I did this. There we go. So you can use it just like a canister. You can take the wand off. And yes, all your attachments do fit on here as well. You do have a suction control here on the side. If you're doing something delicate, you don't need a lot of power. So also, you know, when you take the power head off, it gives you an opportunity if you have a clog or to check it to keep it clean. As you see, it all goes together nicely <laughs> and falls apart nicely. I guess I didn't have that on there correctly. Let me make sure I do. There we go. It's not loud, so you can listen. Oh. So not bad when it comes to suction, you know, I mean, it's your standard cleaner. 
Now on the top here, it has an indicator telling you how full your bag is and when to replace it. Uh, now, if you're going to do maybe a delicate carpet and you don't want the brush roll on, or you're going to do hard floor or tile floor or something like that, and you don't need the brush roll, there's a button right here, and you can turn the brush roll on and off when you want, which is very nice. That way you're not scattering your debris everywhere. So, I'll demonstrate that for you. So if you want a vacuum cleaner that you just want to grab for quick pickups or like you need the canister part, you know, um, that extra vacuum around the house, like I said, for quick things, I say go for it. Um, it's quiet. It does have some good suction. Um, I think the fall down, the downfall of this vacuum would be the power head. I think they should have did a better job. Um, it's just my opinion. I really don't think it does a good deep clean for your carpet. Um, now my carpet here is builder grade, um, and it's very low pile, uh, and it should be able to bite down on it and really do a clean, but it doesn't. Again, the brush, the bristles on here are very stiff, but they really can't reach the carpet. There's really no major contact. It's just enough to barely skim the carpet. Um, I'm going to throw some rice down and it'll pick it up, but um, like, I, like I said, I would recommend this vacuum to be as a quick pick-me-up type thing. You know, crap, the dog spilled something, the kids spilled something, I spilled something, and you just want to vacuum it up real quick. It's easy, grab, go, and do. The quick pickup. But for a deep clean machine, um, I think we can do better. There's a lot of other vacuums out there that, um, especially in this price range, I think you could pick up and do better. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that, that um, harp and, uh, well, dislike or whatever some of the uh, uh, shark items. But I think there's a couple of shark vacuums out there, even with emptying the, the canister and cleaning the filters, I think could do a better job than this does. Um, but in my opinion, I say, if you're gonna buy a vacuum, uh, invest in quality and you won't have to buy another one again. I always tell my friends and neighbors and family members that if you add up all the money that you spend in your vacuums, you buy it, have it a couple of years, throw it away and you keep going. If you just buy quality from the beginning, you know, go for it. You know, a, um, a Vorwerk or a um, Sibo or a Mila, um, uh, Lindhouse, you know, there are some quality vacuums out there. They're, they're pricey, but um, again, you get what you pay for. Um, but anyways, let's do a quick demo on this thing. go let's back it up let me plug this in behind me so I'll... let me throw some rice down the house is a disaster we got carpet cleaning going on demos on vacuums Christmas The house is being decorated. All right, Gidget, leave the rice alone. Okay, here we go.
So it picked up all the rice, not a big deal. And it left some marks on the carpet. Like I said, it does okay. It's not, you know, top of the line. Um, and I guess it would also depend on your carpet. Uh, maybe if you have thicker carpet, I don't know. But um, with all the vacuum cleaners that I have here and all the different ones I've used, um, uh, I, I think we can do better. But again, if you're on a budget and you need an upright vacuum and a canister, this does both. The filtration on it is good. It's quiet. It's easy to use. It's lightweight. It has a long cord. It has the headlight. Um, the bags are quality bags. They're easy to change. The filter's easy to change. There's a lot of good things about this vacuum. So I don't want to harp on it. Um, just for me personally, I mean, in the house, <laughs> this is pretty sad, but let me grab it. I've been using a Decade 80. Is the filtration... Not the best filtration, it's a dirty um, fan vacuum, but it vibrates, it brushes, it does a really good job in deep cleaning in my opinion. And I've really been playing around with this Bissell commercial grade called the Big Green Machine. And it's even doing, I think, a better job. Filtration is on this, it's got great bristles on it. Um, some people like it, some people hate it. But if I'm going to grab a machine right here today, I'd probably go with the Decade first or the Bissell. Um, just my opinion. Again, neither one is the Decade or the Bissell going to give you a hose to use. You can't disconnect and have a canister. So there's a lot of ups and downs for every vacuum. So I'm just going to leave it with this. For an everyday vacuum quick pickups, vacuuming your curtains and your upholstery and baseboards and hardwood floors and tile and all that, you're going to like this. You can turn the brush roll on and off. The headlight works great. It's quiet. There's a lot of good things about this vacuum. But if you're looking for a vacuum that for that deep down quality cleaning, this isn't it. Um, this will do good, but it won't be perfect. Um, and I got stuff all wrapped up in my brush roll. <laughs> the dog uh, toy stuffing. Anyway, so there you go for the um, Kenmore No Touch Bag Technology Intuition. I love the color. I like that it's easy and usable. I do use it, but I've been using it for, you know, like baseboards, quick pickups, that kind of stuff. Um, that's just my opinion. Anyway, there you go. Thank you for stopping by Bunky's Workshop. I hope this answers some of your questions for you. And I hope all is well in the world in your area. And if I don't get to see you by Christmas time, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, be safe out there, stay warm, and treat, treat everybody with some kindness and respect. Talk to you later.